The COVID-19 crisis has pushed several struggling airlines over the edge. Many global giants have suffered massive losses and are now dependent on government bailouts to stay afloat. The global air traffic had come to a grinding halt in March when the World Health Organization had officially declared COVID-19 as a pandemic. Over the last few months, the world witnessed a crippled air uh, witnessed crippled air travel caused by unprecedented number of flight cancellations the world over. And this came as a consequence when countries across the world began enforcing strict lockdown measures to contain the spread of the virus. By April this year, international seat capacity for air travel had dropped by almost 80% as compared to 2019. Data shows that half of the world's airplanes were in storage. This suggests that the aviation industry may take years to recover from the damage caused by the COVID-19 pandemic at a time when many countries are lifting restrictions on mobility. Limited flights are operating with strict hygiene measures in place. Airlines in the United States cancelled hundreds of thousands of flights. This included more than 80% of the scheduled flights in June. Passenger traffic in the United States fell by 95% between March and May. The industry trade group Airlines for America said that in the month of May, airlines in America were collectively quote-unquote burning more than $10 trillion in cash. This was when there were two dozen passengers per domestic flight due to the pandemic. Boeing has said it delivered just four planes in May. The number was down from the six delivered in April. Customers also cancelled orders for 18 planes in the month of May. This includes 14 MAX jets, which were the company's top selling aircraft. In April, Boeing recorded zero new orders for the second month this year. This is the worst period since 1962. We forecast um, a loss of revenue for airlines that is accounting for $419 billion, uh, which is 50% of our revenues, and um, cumulated loss for the uh, industry around $84 billion. In 2021, situation should improve. Um, we should have, uh, we should reach um, a revenue which is uh, uh, above uh, $530 billion. Um, and um, we should limit the loss around $15 billion US dollars. Boeing's rival plane maker, Airbus, was reported to have told its senior staff members that the company must be quote-unquote resized. In late May, Chile's Latam Airlines Group became one of the largest carriers so far to seek an emergency reorganization during the pandemic. UK's EasyJet Airlines, meanwhile, said it planned to cut up to 4,000 to 4,500 jobs, 4,500 jobs, and shrink its fleet to adjust to the smaller travel market. Virgin Australia announced in May that it had been granted formal recognition of its voluntary administration process and was put up for sale. Some airlines have refined their services to try and minimize the financial damage due to the shortage of passengers. Ethiopian Airlines converted 22 of its passenger planes to cargo aircraft in a bid to help the company to diversify. If we start leaving seats in the economy inventory open or unsold because of social distance, distancing, uh, one has to uh, except the, the, you have to be consistent about this. It's no point just leaving the seat next to you empty because the seat behind you, yeah, exactly. somebody sneezes or coughs, irrespective of the seat back meant to be deflecting it, it won't actually happen. As you know, mm -hmm. the seat these will travel 20 feet down the cabin or in, in a enclosed space. So what, what it basically means is that you will have to take 50% of your, in, in the case of economy, uh, economy inventory out. Now, with the continuous change going on the mass, the calculus, 